All right, guys, welcome back. We're outside the locker room. James Bradbury joining us now, talented cornerback for the Philadelphia Eagles, pro bowler, should be a pro bowler, should be an all-pro. Say it loud and say it with your chest. Congratulations on this experience. Uh, what was it like when the clock was rolling down to triple zeros for you? Um, it was a lot of screaming, a lot of shouting. Um, I was just really excited, you know. Once in a lifetime opportunity. You are generally a mellow guy. We all know that. But did you have? Did it feel? Did this feel different to you? Oh yeah, it definitely uh, feels different. You know, I've never been in this position before, and I know I played with a lot of guys that's never been to the playoffs before. Um, so like I said, it's a once in a lifetime opportunity. I just want to enjoy the moment. I would imagine this is something that. You, you dream about, right? Like, you dream about this as a kid. You dream about this when you get to the league. And it's so much harder to get here than what you imagine, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it's definitely harder to get here. Um, and I had, I had visual, visualizations of me, like, playing in the Super Bowl when I was a young kid, you know, my grandmother's house and whatnot. So it's pretty cool to, to kind of be in this position now, you know. It took a while, but I'm here. What is it like to be a part of this defense with so much talent from top to bottom? And then, on top of it, Hassan Reddick with that sack fumble injures Brock Purdy. How much did that change the game? I think it changed the game uh, my whole lot, you know. Definitely it helped us like start fast and uh, get some momentum going. Uh, but playing with a defense like this, you know, makes my job a lot easier, you know. So it's a blessing to be here and I'm glad to be here. Do you ever catch yourself on the sideline looking up at the Jumbotron? You're like, wait a minute, Miles Sanders got another rushing touchdown? Is that another rushing touchdown? Do you marvel at what they're able to do? Uh, yeah, I marvel at what all those guys on the offense are able to do. You know, Devontae Smith, you know, he, all, he always surprised me with a great catch when, whenever we need one. Um, but you, we got a trio back there in the backfield that can, that can cause a lot of damage, you know, so it's a blessing to have this offense too. Sometimes it feels a little overstated. We talk so much about how great the fan base is, but truly they are. What was it like walking in here this morning and then when the crowd came in? What did that feel like? Um, I had a lot of jitters, you know, um, and it kind of actually helped settle it, you know, because they, I mean, they were excited and it was kind of like having um, just like your whole family in the crowd, you know, really. That's how Philly fans really treat you, man. They really treat you like family. You were a member of the Giants, obviously, and, you know, you, you, you end up coming here. You had no plans really to come here, right? You, like you didn't know you were going to end up in Philadelphia. Now when you look back at that decision, you're like, oh, wait a minute. That was, that was a bit of a game changer, huh? Yeah, I mean, at the time when I got released, um, I was kind of down and sad or whatnot, but it's been a blessing in disguise, you know, so it's a blessing. Congratulations to you, and of course, we'll see you in a couple weeks in Arizona.